there. So welcome everyone. Um, I'm Lisa Doyle and we are continuing our ongoing series of interviews with my favorite agents from across the country. You know, everyone's been asking me in our area, you know, I, I work in Northern California. Everyone's been asking. So I'm thinking about retiring, kind of contemplating a downsize, but I don't know where to go. So I thought I would start interviewing my favorite realtors from all over the country in some of our most um, sought after cities. And today I have a good friend of mine, Will Johnson. Uh, he is a wonderful agent in the Nashville, Tennessee area, which Will, I think I shared with you, we did a relocation webinar recently and we, I only was able to spend like six or seven minutes. Um, I was only able to spend that short period of time on Nashville. So I wanted to get the consumer, you know, everyone a little bit deeper um, on your area. So welcome. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so this is super fun. So like I said, this is an ongoing series. I've been interviewing uh, real estate brokers from all over California, knowing that some people want to stay local just in the outlying area. And now diving deep a little bit to um, cities across the country where everyone's moving. And I have to tell you, in the last two months, I've probably had 20 people say to me, well, what about the Nashville area? You know, I'm thinking about Tennessee for all the reasons that we're going to share. Um, everyone loves your state. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no question. We've seen, I mean, as, as far as I can say personally, um, when you take California and Texas together, uh, I mean, I've worked with more clients moving from California and Texas to Tennessee than all of the other states combined by yeah. far. So, um, yeah, it definitely is a popular spot. I think... Um, as you and I had mentioned, you know, offline a little bit earlier, just because of the, the tax basis um, and just how much that you can buy with your money. Um, and I don't feel like our market is um, appreciated as, as drastically as maybe some of the other areas of the country. So the bang for the buck, especially those looking to retire, you get a lot for your money, especially, you know, compared to some other areas of the country. Oh, it's ridiculous. And so we're going to go through that because, you know, the Bay Area, we've been just like the rest of the country. The market's been more heated because of covid you know, we are a feeder market from the Silicon Valley. So, so many of the families that would have thought, you know, a couple of years ago that that Silicon Valley commute was too far. Now the tech companies are telling them that they can work from home and yep. or now more from home, even after COVID is long past, hopefully sooner than later. Yep. Uh, so, so we're seeing a lot more of that. So our market's been driving up. So anyone that's thinking about retiring, they can sell their home now and move to a place where you are. And I know you're going to talk a little bit about pricing and what, what you can get for that money is just amazing. It's beautiful. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this is um, something that we hadn't mentioned, but there's a really small town, probably an hour and a half south of, uh, south of Nashville called Bell Buckle. And um, to give you an example of the market here, so we just sold, um, basically there was two homes on one lot and a massive garage. I'm talking, this could probably hold 12 cars in this garage. Um, it just, I mean, it was brand new, it's a three-year-old construction. Um, but yeah, I mean, that property just sold for right at 600,000. Um, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous, like super, super high-end stuff all throughout, you know, Viking appliances and, you know, so yeah, the bang for the buck, um, you may not even be able to get a lot, you know, or, or much construction done in some other areas of the country for what you can get something really nice here. Oh yeah. And the cost of living. So what I want to do first is um, I'll have you share a little bit about your background because, you know, when they come to Tennessee, if they get to know you a little bit here, I think this makes them feel comfortable in reaching out to you. So I wanted to give everyone, of course, we'll give them your contact information. But I know you've lived in the Nashville area for like what you said, 30 years, right? Yep. A long time. You know, you've been there for a very long time. So, and I, and I have to tell you, I love your background. So tell them a little bit about your history, what you did before real estate. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, so yeah, I grew up here from basically fourth grade on, went to college here locally um, and um, left for a while, was active duty army for about 14 years. Um, was a major in the, the military and was doing well. I'd gotten um, promoted early and everything was heading in the right direction there, but I really had a, a passion for medicine. And so I left the military, went to anesthesia school um, here in the Nashville area, did well there and, and um, had was living a great life, was doing OB anesthesia at the busiest OB hospital here in Tennessee and um, had gotten diagnosed with MS. So my right arm started going a little bit numb, my right leg started going a little bit numb. And so uh, just for safety of the, the patients, um, I just removed myself. And so I took about three months off and just decided what else can I do to be able to help people? Um, and I'd own rental properties in various different states throughout the country. And 
you know, I'd work with some good realtors and some not so good, and it can make a major impact on, on people's lives. I, I started looking at, you know, what causes a lot of stress in marriages or in families. And a lot of that is financial. And yeah. so if I could put more money in people's pockets, whenever, you know, they're selling their house or help them get a better deal, buying a house, that's a way that I can impact families and decrease their stress a little bit and, you know, make, make uh, my community better one family at a time. So for me, it was more about that impact than it was about um, anything else. Yeah, no, I love that. I think that's great. And I, and I shared with you earlier when we were offline, but thank you for your service, you know, our military and our front, you know, the front line, um, you guys work awful hard, put your life at stake for our country. So thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. What? So let's talk about the cities. So we all know Nashville, although the greater Nashville, which you can share, you know, the downtown Nashville, just like everywhere else across the country, your main downtown areas, more expensive there, right? For sure. Um, yeah. Tell, tell them a little bit about the, the areas in Nashville. Now, in, in actual Nashville, are there retirement communities there too, the 55 and older, or are those just the outskirts? More on the outskirts of the Nashville community. You really won't find anything like that close to, close to downtown. Okay. I think the cost is just so high to, to, to be there. Now, high is relative. You know, Compared to your market, it may not be bad at all. But yeah. um, relative for what you can get bang for the buck, um, yeah, you really won't see, I think we've got two communities that I'll go over um, in Nashville for retirement communities, but um, but yeah, you, the more of the people that I see that are coming in to retire, most of them are not living in Nashville. Uh, most of them are living in some of the outskirt communities. So one of them that I put here, Franklin, is probably one of our more popular communities. Um, and the reason is, is just, it has that small town feel. Um, you can being that not that far outside of the city limits and be able to get some really decent sized lots. And we've seen, and I'm sure that you've seen the same thing with COVID people want some space. Like they're, they're not as much about being all cramped up real close to each other. And we see people doing more out, outdoor activities, whether they're, you know, uh, cookouts or those sorts of things. And they want to be able to have a little bit of space to be able to, um, to do those things. So um, so yeah, Franklin is definitely one of the more popular um, communities that we see people moving to. But what you see here is a great, um, really a great picture of the community. You see people out walking their dogs and you see people having coffee together and it's just a very tight knit community. So when you, you look at the 55 plus community that's moving here from out of state and they really don't know anybody, this is a very easy community to be able to get plugged in um, with a variety of, of different activities for various ages. So well, and you know what I was going to share. So I work um, the East Bay in California, which is about 45 minutes outside of San Francisco. So we're very suburban, right? Mm -hmm. One of the towns I do most of my work in, or a lot of our work in for over the years is called Danville. Well, Danville is a very charming little town, just like yep. what you're, it looks just like Franklin. So you picture, I mean, our little downtown has all the outdoor eating and shopping and, and, and the downtown area and all the wonderful schools and stuff. So this is very similar to what your, your Franklin area. You know. Yeah, so you'll see um, Franklin is definitely, when you look at the suburbs around Nashville, one of the more affluent um, neighborhoods for people to, to live in. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, when you, you look at desirability um, with all of the different features and things to do, it's, it's um, very, very high on the list of communities near Nashville. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. When I so, know you... I think you'll show us a little bit about average price range in Franklin. So share with us if you, if I was a, a, like a 55 or older, uh, there you go. You've got that. Yep. So, yeah. So a little bit about the, the, the city. I mean, obviously it's got some national recognition recognition um, to, I wanted to put the population in there just so people have kind of a general size of the type of town that they're moving into. So around 78,000, one of the larger cities in, in Tennessee and really has a lot of culture there as well. Mm -hmm. So um, Reed Hill is definitely one of the more popular um, retirement communities in the area. So to give you an idea of price point to be in one of these communities. So, you know, the 1500 to 2100 square foot range, which we see is pretty popular for the retired. They're not yeah. looking to have the five, 6,000 square foot homes anymore. Uh, they're really looking for simple is, is better. Um, so to be in that community, depending on what size you're wanting and, and features within the community, about 265 to four, you know, close mid 400s. So um, yeah, just a bunch of small cottage homes and, and some walking trails and um, a lot of the things taken care of for people that they really don't want to have to take care of, you know, like the lawnmower. So this is probably for um, a little bit more active community, you know, where they want just some of the stuff taken care of, but most of the stuff they can still do on their own. Exactly. 
yeah, they're active seniors, you know, active 55, really getting 55 and older. Yep. <laughs> you know, I'm right there, so it doesn't feel so senior-ish. But <laughs> I'm not that far off, so uh, that far off, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, another one of the towns that's, that's close to, close to Nashville is Murfreesboro, where I live currently. Um, it was, you know, the, once the capital of Tennessee, it's right smack in the middle of Tennessee. Um, but same type thing. So this gives an idea of this, the square, and there's a lot of shops and stuff that you see around the square here. Um, but same, same thing, very small town feel, the closer that you get towards the center of the city. Um, but you'll, they've got more, here's a couple other pictures of kind of the, the square and very historical, um, the town. So, uh, but yeah, similar thing. You're looking at a little bit bigger town, uh, 150,000 people, uh, sixth largest city, but, um, we get a lot of recognition, um, throughout the country as being a very livable city. So when you're looking at traffic and you're looking at, um, you know, crime or you're looking at school systems, which the, the, the 55 plus community may not be looking at that, but just activities and just plays that they can go to. It's very easy to be able to get plugged in in this community. Well, and people, even if you're, even if you're over 55 and you're buying in a retirement community and you don't have children, you still want good schools for resale. You know, yep, you want to absolutely. be in an area. And you know what I have noticed? Well, I have to share. So this has happened to us now three times in the last year. So I have a client that's, um, you know, over 55, moving to some place to retire. Uh, one just moved to Florida. As soon as they were there and they loved it for about six months, their children then followed them. Yep. yep. So it was like, they were like, gosh, we're so grateful that we moved into a town that had good schools because my grandchildren are coming now because they wanted a more affordable place to live. And so I, I love that. I think that there's a good likelihood that families that I've now seen move to your area, their kids might be following them behind, you know? Murfreesboro, I would consider to be very affordable, um, especially with it being about a 30 minute drive to Nashville. Um, and you, it's very, especially if you're wanting a little bit bigger lot, when I say bigger lot, again, that's a little bit relative, but say if you're looking for, you know, a half acre lot, a third acre to an acre, um, it's much easier to be able to find in Murfreesboro. So, um, and a lot of one level homes you'll find here as well. So, which, you know, the, the older that you get, that seems to be more of a priority to take, you know. For sure. That as well. So, yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a multitude of 55 plus communities here. They're pretty popular here in Murfreesboro. So, to give you an idea of, of uh, you know, size and, and price point, so same size, about between 1,200 and 2,000 square, square feet. Um, a lot of different activities, a lot of different things going on. They're much more active um, within this community. But, yeah, I mean, price points, you're going to be looking at, um, probably mid 200s to mid low 400s in that community. Um, oh, so affordable. Now, if a, affordable. if a person wanted to buy, let's say a retirement home in these areas now, and they, they weren't ready to go there yet, um, can you rent these out? Are they? Most of them you can, yeah. For long-term rentals, most of them, they will allow that. That's a great question. Yep. Yeah. Because I've, I've known clients who say, you know, I'm five years away. Um, I want to be prepared to where I want to go because prices are just continuing to rise across the country. Let's buy an affordable place that we can rent. So that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. And so to give you an idea of value, I mean, this is kind of crazy compared to other areas of the country, but you know, in this, in this community, this river rock crossing where we've got a lot of one level homes, um, you know, with single car garages, um, they won't have as many upgrades as the, some of the other communities that I just showed you, but if they're looking for something just a little bit more simple, I mean, to be able to get 1200 to 2000 square feet in that 145 to 215 range, like mm -hmm. that's a down payment for a house in some other areas of the country. So oh, less than a down payment in our, you know, our, our market has gotten very, very high. So yes, this is like wonderful. Yeah. 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 So uh, not too, not too bad at all. So, but it allows them if they want to, maybe if they're just looking for a landing spot and they're planning on traveling quite a bit, or, um, you know, even a second home market, if they're planning on spending some time here and then have another home in another area, then um, it's pretty easy to do with, uh, with prices in that, in that range. So you had asked about Nashville, Tennessee. Um, you know, obviously Nashville is a highly desirable city. It's very fast growing. Um, the prices there are appreciating a little bit more aggressively than some of the suburbs around just because we've got uh, a, a definite shortage um, taking place in Nashville compared to some of the suburbs. But there's so much activities to be able to do there. It's when you look at um, big cities. So you may see country music stars or movie stars or uh, you're just walking down the street or at, and, and what you see, you don't really see paparazzi. 
You don't see even people, you know, fans bothering them. So they can, you know, that people will have a second home here from New York or from LA. And it's because they can live a more normal life here. So um, it mix in with the, with the, uh, uh, us regular people. So. Well, you know, uh, what's interesting is um, I was in Nashville a couple months ago and my son lives, my son's a musician and he lives in um, the Lebanon area, but we were at a downtown restaurant right in Nashville and we walked by and my son just casually said, that's so-and-so sitting there all by himself. Like you said, there was no one bothering him. And it was, I, I can't even recall the name, but someone very famous. So I thought, oh, that's interesting that he's got, he has privacy. No one was bugging him. I love that. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll see people from a variety of different walks of life. Um, if they've got uh, more of a high profile figure, Nashville is almost like a safe haven for them to be able to go to and just to uh, live that normal life like we were talking about. So, but I love this city. I mean, it's, it's, I've looked at getting a secondary home in, in some other, you know, I've looked at other markets, but I can't see a better landing base than here for sure. Yeah, exactly. So some examples of, you know, not too far outside the city. I mean, you're still within the city limits for sure. Coffee shops and a lot of historic homes, a lot of history here. Um, so yeah, one of the larger cities in the country, 36 largest in the country, close to 2 million people. And it's just been exploding. Um, so it wasn't that long ago uh, that Nashville wasn't even the, the biggest city within Tennessee. Um, uh, Memphis was, and now it's just absolutely blown by Memphis um, for sure. So, but yeah, I mean, people like going to the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. There's a lot of historical tours and things that people can do, but um, plenty to do for sure for a lifetime here in the Nashville area. So you had asked if there was any of these 55 plus communities in Nashville, so um, this is one of those community communities. So you're looking at uh, between 12 to 1600 uh, square feet. These are duplexes that are that are that are here. And you asked about um, you know rentals being allowed if they're not there. This community does not allow those um, to take place. But you know, you've got the heated pool, walking trails. Uh, the HOA basically covers everything that you would need it to cover, which is um, which is great. But yeah, you're going to be looking at um, a little bit higher price point here, um, probably a base price in the low 300s um, up to uh, the low 500s, depending on you know which property that you got into. But if proximity to Nashville or actually being within Nashville is important to somebody that this would have that for them. Still pretty affordable. You oh. know, yeah, even right in Nashville, that's affordable. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, some people have asked about the idea of an Airbnb. So I know that you said long-term rentals. Um, how far out of Nashville do you have to go before Airbnb is possible? Well, I mean, they can do Airbnbs in Nashville. And that's something that probably a lot of, not a lot of the business that I do is with investment property. So I follow the Airbnb yeah. very, very closely. Um, so to not have to worry about it and worry about zoning and this, that, the other, you're probably looking at getting out at least 20 minutes outside of the city limits of Nashville. So really inside the city limits of Nashville is where it's very, very strict. And almost any of the suburbs surrounding Nashville, any of these cities that we're going over outside of Nashville, you really won't have an issue. Yeah, sounds good. Yep, yep. So um, yeah, so here's another community. Um, I've sold quite a few properties actually in this in this place. It's very, very nice. Um, it's, uh, the picture here. Yeah, I mean, the views from here are really remarkable. Get on the shelf. I can't do this right now. Um, oh, you're good. You're good. So um, everything you could possibly want as far as activities or amenities um, are within here. So base price for you know around a, a thousand square foot, um, two bedroom, one bath property, you'd be starting in um, the upper 300s. And to get a little bit bigger property or to get one of the penthouses closer to the top, um, you're going to be looking at uh, mid fives to close to 600,000. So, yeah, very good. That's, yep. that's still, you know, most people are, you know, leaving our area looking for opportunity in that range, you know, ish up to a million ish or so. So that's like the perfect, you're, you're the perfect solution for someone who wants to do that. Yeah. That. Yeah. And I mean, you're looking at, that's the high end that you're going to find in Nashville or some of the surrounding areas. So, um, so Hendersonville, so there's three communities that are pretty close to each other. So you've got Hendersonville, Tennessee, you've got Mount Juliet, um, Tennessee, you've got Lebanon, you know, around, around that area. Most of those are very close to the lake. So if, if 
maybe not even having a lake home, but something that's close to the lake. If you like being on the water or just viewing the water, walking down to the lake and it's relaxing watching, you know, ducks land or whatever, then um, this would be one of those communities that would be a great fit for, for those people. Um, so um, Hendersonville, I would say is, uh, there's a little bit more history here, more of these types of buildings that I'm showing here than what you would see in um, Mount Juliet. I would say Mount Juliet, you've seen a little bit more of an explosion of some new uh, restaurants, some new shopping, that sort of thing. So if that's important to you, and Mount Julia is going to be at a little bit higher price point, I would say 10 to 15% higher than what you would in Hendersonville. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely some communities within there as well. So again, you, some, you'll have a mixture of historic homes and you'll have some mixture of some new construction that's done, especially in that 55 plus community. So yeah, the city's been around for, the, for a while, again, around that 60,000 uh, population. Um, but really it's... Most of the people that are that are in that city of Hendersonville, they're really there for the lake. Um, so you're still looking at about a 30 minute drive, 25 minute drive to get into Nashville from Hendersonville. It's more the northeast, uh, northeast side of, of Nashville. Um, but yeah, anything east of Ed Nashville, you're looking at more um, lake or close to lake, unless you're out in Lebanon. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just great spaces for people to be able to move into. So. This is an example of one of the, the um, relatively newer communities that's been built in uh, the Hendersonville area. So the gatherings at Indian Lake. So Indian Lake in Hendersonville is where there's a lot of new construction. There's a lot of uh, new things. I've actually got a listing coming up there, a land listing. It'll be um, almost 17 million for that uh, piece of land. It's the last commercial spot left on this Indian Lake Boulevard. Um, but yeah, two bedroom, two bath units ranging in size, like it says from 1500 to 2000 square feet. So in the 350 to 400 range, but um, as you can see from the pictures, they're much more um, updated, yeah. uh, more modern amenities. Yeah. So if you're looking for that, this is actually a really, I lived in Hendersonville for about seven years when I was going to um, anesthesia school and practicing, and it's a fantastic community. Now, what about, um, do some of these developments have like the next level of assisted care? So let's say someone um, moves into the community as, a, as an active, you know, 55 or older, and then you get to a place where you want to have some assistance. They have that too? Um, some of these units will, most of them do not. Okay. Um, so that would definitely be an important question um, to ask your realtor before, before moving forward. But yeah, yeah, some of them do have transitions or they've got um, agreements in place with um, more um, higher care facilities. There's probably three that I can think of off the top of my head that, that do have that. So yes, those are available, but they're not common. Okay, yeah, I was curious. Yeah, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, when you're, again, like we talked a little bit about earlier, the bang for the buck when you're looking at moving to the Nashville area or some of these surrounding communities is really, is really tremendous. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, and your, you know, um, your area also has um, hospitals close by, right? Airport, you know, for that, those are the questions that most people have is how close can I get into the airports, um, you know, medical care, things like that close by. So I know you have the, you have that one major hospital. Do you have more than that? Oh, we've got multiple major hospitals yeah. in that. Oh, so we've that. got, we've got um, really <laughs> four major hospitals located within blocks of each other in Nashville. But even in these outlying communities, you're going to find um, some, you know, fairly robust um, smaller hospitals that will be able to take care of almost anything that you would need. So, um, yeah, I mean that that piece is that piece is great as well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, very good. I know, um, you know, we have my son lives in your area, and we visit there, and I just love that for anyone who loves music. You know, that you guys. One of the things that's so cool about your whole area is no matter what time of day, no matter where you go, coffee shop to big, there's live music is everywhere. So there's just so much to do there and have fun, you know? Yeah, and that's a great point that you make because you know, people look at Nashville as being the music city, which it is. The energy there is, um, you know, pretty high for sure. But even in these smaller communities, like you'll see one of the first slides that I showed was a restaurant called Puckett's and they've got, you know, just kind of some old Southern type food, but it's very common that you can go in there in the evening time and they'll have a local artist, you know, in there playing live music. So yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, so much fun. So yeah, though, thank you so much. Well, if anyone um, wants to find you, um, if you would go ahead, um, maybe we could put your um, 
your email address, like replace your name with your email address and, or I can of course share that too, but I want them to be able to find you if they have questions. Um, you know, what I will always recommend with my, the families that I'm helping, if they're trying to figure out where to go, you know, set up some time to really talk to you direct about the specifics and you know, get more information about the communities. And um, the last thing that I had question for you is some of these neighborhoods are resale and then some of them are brand new. Is that true? Or are they all at the resale point at this, at this stage? Yeah, everything that we've shown you so far um, is all in the um, in the resale stage, but there are um, a couple different communities that are in the new construction phase, and those will have some pretty neat amenities that go with them. Okay, great. And then we, like I said, we'll share your contact information with everyone. And thank you so much, Will, for you know for joining me today. I know everyone's been so eager to learn about different places across the country, and this is our way that we can introduce them to you and you know to your team. And what's the company that you work with there? I work name. with EXP Realty. Yep. Okay. Yeah, EXP, which is a wonderful company across the country. You guys yeah. are floating everywhere. I think you guys are one of the fastest growing um, companies in the country, from what I understand. Yeah, there's a few people coming on board. Yep. Yeah, I think we're at um, <laughs> close to eighty thousand people right now. Yeah, nice. And so you yeah. see Will's email address, Will Johnson thirty four at gmail .com. And of course, I'm Lisa Doyle. Thanks everyone for tuning in. If you have any friends you know that are thinking about retiring and they want information. And really, if you have questions about anywhere across the country, let me know, because we're going to be um, on a weekly basis. We're just talking to different realtors all over and hope to give you guys some help and, you know, some connections. You're so, the best, Lisa. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks, Will. Take care, everyone. Stay well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. See you soon.